What's up, everybody? My name is Schlump. This is Andrew Rael. Hello, we're Salado, and this is Golf, Golf Car Confessions. Have you ever seen a UFO? A real one, no, just movies. Okay. I've never experienced anything close to a UFO. Well, what about that one? Oh, okay, there you go. There's that's the that's my first experience. Okay. okay. When I was young, we used to go and hang out on um, like our school playground, even when we wasn't in school. We used to re-climb the fence. And then one Friday night, we was lay, all lay on, the, on our backs, and I'm convinced I saw a uh, UFO flyby, convinced still. Whilst nice. doing yeah. multiple no. trips yeah. of acid. Is that what happened? No, 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 no. Well, honestly, oh, that's a true like, story then. This, this is genuine story. shit, this is genuine. I've had like some vivid dreams with extraterrestrials and I've had some vivid um, metaphysical experiences, you could say, where I came in contact with an alien or extraterrestrial. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I have been visited. Would you rather party with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, or Chewbacca? Luke Skywalker, for sure. Tell me why. For sure. I mean, he's the biggest Jedi out there, and uh, I want to be a Jedi as well. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously, he's the most powerful one, so it's Luke, for sure. Uh, Han Solo. Yeah, I'd probably say Han Solo. I mean, so, not, yeah. so I, 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 I'm married now, so I, 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 would, I would go for uh, Luke, because he's an absolute geek. <laughs> But Han Solo is getting the women. Yeah. So if oh, I was yeah. single, I'd be with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not. <laughs> Chewbacca, for sure. Why? Just because he's got my back 100%. Like, there's no denying that. And I would just love to kick it with Chewie. He's such a, like, bright and dope person, you know? It's like so much. I feel like it'd just be good vibes the whole night. Just be like, oh, and like me chilling. If you were abducted by aliens and they asked you to play them one album that best represents humanity, what album would you play? I love uh, one of the um, older albums of Armin van Buren. It's mm. called Ima Imagine. Sure. It's one of my favorite trance albums, so I don't know, I'll probably play that one. Nice. My favorite representation of humanity would probably be um, Jimi Hendrix album, Are You Experienced? And it's just like, I don't know, such a cool vibe and so out there. It's totally not electronic, it's totally from another era. I feel like it just has so much soul and just cool emotion and vibe of sure. humanity. So, sure. yeah, I would want to bless the aliens with that. <laughs> Drake? Uh, no, maybe? no, 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 Everyone no, no, says no. Drake. Uh, no. I've got to say, uh, I think Guns N' Roses no, 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 the Michael yeah. Jackson album with the Heal the World. Yeah. Is it bad? Is it? Oh. Make it nice. No, it's not bad. It's what like a it? later one. It's one where it gets a bit emotional. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Do you guys want to sing a little bit more of Heal the World? No, no, world? I can't. No, no, no. No, no. God, you can Heal the World. Yeah. <laughs> Had we done this later, I'd be in full oh, fire mode. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll Shit you timing. Up again. Beaten up by FBI agents after this, you'll know why. <laughs> if, you, if there's air conditioning and studios up there, then we'll go there, yeah. They're not gonna use actual people to do it, they're gonna use drones.